Crystal Wick here with Cynthia, Hi, my Crystal. seed bead gal pal. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what we're talking about today? Hmm. I think seed beads. She's right. <laughs> we love seed beads, do we not? We do. Mm. We do. And I have to say that before, I didn't like seed beads at all. I couldn't do anything with them. I'm with you. Yeah. And then suddenly I get on in it and cannot stop. We both kind of went kicking and screaming down the seed bead path, <laughs> and now we're heavily addicted. Yeah. Just like you all. So, have at it, Cynthia. Yeah. Fill us in. These creations are unbelievable. Oh, thanks. Oh, I love every single one. So, dive in. Well, and I wanted to show there are so many different that comes all the time. New shape, new colors. can be overwhelming where to start, what to choose. So, we have some samples here, and I wanted to just talk about it and show that. Yes. Um, we've shot that bracelet before, but because it's so stunning and amazing, I wanted to show it again. Yes, it's so pretty. It is very pretty. That was made by one of our oh, designers here. And it was made with ruler beads. So those ruler beads are those kind of little tubes with two holes on it. That's why you can stack them. You, they fit together so nicely, don't they? They do. They do. So something that's kind of similar but not exactly the same size is those checkmates mm. to hold brick uh, beads so they are a little bigger if you can see here they're a little bigger and then they're a little more square mm. on the side so the effect might be a little different mm -hmm. so those are really nice too and of course everything comes in so many different colors yes that's the fun yeah. part those are very funny beads <laughs> Your favorite. They have a funny name, right? They're called piggy beads. And I guess it's because they have two holes on yeah, this. The oink, oink kind. <laughs> yes. so, so they're very funny to play like, with them. And Sherry made those really cute sweet. bracelet. Very sweet. And, and I've seen design with flowers. and they, You can be very elaborate with, with those piggy beads. And then those those are petal beads so they have only one hole here and sherry again made this beautiful bracelet she used them making flowers out of them and on a pod stitch pen great idea because that's an interesting shape i think it's a little yes. more challenging to use that shape so it this is. is a great idea yes yes i just love this bracelet mm -hmm. and then we have the orbits mm. i know i talk about the orbits so much <laughs> But I really love them. And look what Sherry made here. Oh. And with the old beads, you have two ways to use them. Those, for example, they look really nice flat because they have such a special coating or such a special color. Like these here have two different colors also. So it's really nice to use them flat. Yeah, so one side is one color and the other side is another color. Yes. So you can even pick and choose which side you want to use. Yes, and you can sew on... This is just a beauty uh, Love stitch it. band also. And then this is one that I use over and over and over. <laughs> it's just silver. You use them as spacers. You put just one between beads, two, three, four. They are so great as spacers. So all beads, I cannot talk about them. I mean, stop talking about them all the time. <laughs> I think they're in every piece now you create. <laughs> <laughs> that must be. So now going on this part, I just love the Super Duo also. So mm -hmm. the Super Duo are those teeny bits here. They have two holes. They came in so many different beautiful colors. And they really nice tagging. So here I just made very simple bracelets. I love those. Like that. Oh my goodness. And you just tag them with some seed beads. So I made different, different design different colors of uh, Super Duo, but I use the same for those four here. I use the same CB blend. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, and look how different they look just because of what Super yes. Duo beads you picked. Yes. That's so great. So one tube covers everybody. Oh, yes. yes. And then you can sna stack them because mm -hmm. look at how many would go together because that yes. stackable thing right now is very trendy. It is. Uh -huh. It is. It's really fun to put oh, a lot I together. I love that. Yes. Very, very easy to make. Or then you can stack them oh, look at horizontally. These. Yes, so these are now horizontally where those are vertically. Yes. Nice. And nice And this is super, Cynthia. super easy to do. Um, this is one that Sherry made. So look at different 
design you can make out of them. She Same bead. bead. Yeah, so it's amazing. She put a seed bead in between and I didn't. And then I play with this one too and I put on the side. So those on oh. top of here, they the same shape, but they super uno, which means they have only one hole. Ah, oh. like that. So the super duos have two holes. Yes. And the super unos have one hole. Yes. Got it. So different um, different way to use them, but they're so much fun. Yeah, and this together. is a great little trim there that you're just sewing on with your seed beads. Yes. Simple. But very cute. Mm -hmm. And then the shape that kind of the same but a little more um, oval is the Rizzo bead. So those also have only one hole and they're mm -hmm. great also to Look put on the on the ends. Great embellishing bead. Look at him. Over here you did a cute little one too. Yeah, that was just to show that samples. That's sweet. And inside I use the uh, Checkmate tile beads. Those are great also. So they a little thick and a little round mm -hmm. on the on the side. Beautiful for just making a simple bracelet like that. And I like those because there's a lot of surface. Yeah. So the color, you get a lot of the color showing because the mm -hmm. surface is so much larger than some of the other beads. And the bead that kind of the same shape is mm. the Tyla beads. Some people call them also Tila beads. Mm -hmm. And those also, they're so much fun to work with. Oh, and I mean, so I made this bracelet with just seed beads uh, in between. And then I did the opposite. I used the Tila beads to um, finish the band that I was making in the middle. Oh, so, oh, okay. So this was the embellishment. Yes. Oh, look at that. Great yes. idea. They're really fun huh. to play with. Um, I mean, very easy also to play with. Oh, love those. Like, all of them are just beautiful, Cynthia. Thank you. Oh. And then they came up also with a half Tila beads. Look at those teeny, teeny oh, pieces. They are very little. You will need your glasses for that one, <laughs> beady peeps. But you're used to that. If you're flying with seed beads, you're used to that. I have to. Oh, those are yes. sweet. I didn't play with those yet, but I bet they're very fun also mm -hmm. to do things with. with. Wow. So what about thread? Do you have any thread preferences when you're doing this kind of seed beading? Yes, I do. So I like to use the fire line. And the fire line is pretty uh, rigid. Mm -hmm. So when you're making a bracelet like that, it holds the shape very well. Mm, good to know. And um, when you start also, when you are a beginner and you start to make this project, I recommend fire line also. And because it's easier to work with. The other thread that I really like is the KO thread. You're a big fan of the KO thread, I aren't do. you? I do. <laughs> and the KO thread I use also for embroidery. Oh, okay. And you have so many different colors, and the colors really match with the beads that you use. And also. the KO thread, do you find it, it's much smoother? It's very easy to pull through, which is why you like it for embroidery? Yes, yes. And it doesn't uh, fade as much as the other thread. And also, because it's much smoother, it gives some movement to your bracelet. Mm -hmm. It's not as rigid as the fire line. Got it. So it's, it's yes, those two I use quite a lot. Oh, good. Those are good tips. Because everybody asks about the thread, so. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yay. Well, gosh, Cynthia, this was beautiful. Thank you for sharing Thank all you. this inspiration. And I am sure everybody is ready to go and dive in and start <laughs> making their favorite seed bead mixes here. Oh, my gosh. Oh. So I um, want to thank you for joining us here at Art Beats Cafe and be sure to sign up for our newsletter and our YouTube channel so you don't miss a single cafe. And as always, happy beating.